like Shiva, she be my shaggy, get out my way. If it ain't Gally, get out my way. If it ain't Gally, get out my way. If it ain't Gally, get out my way. I'm Andrew Huberman, and I'm a professor of neurobiology and ophthalmology at Stanford School of Medicine. Today, we are discussing breathing. Now, breathing is something that we are all familiar with because, frankly, we are all doing it right now, and we do it during our waking states and while we are asleep. And most of us have probably heard that breathing is essential to life. We hear that we can survive without food for some period of time, maybe even up to a month or more that we can't survive that long without water, but we could survive a few days without water, depending on how well hydrated we are when we go into that water deprivation and the heat of the environment we happen to be in, but that we cannot survive without breathing for more than a few minutes. And that if we cease to breathe, that our brain and our bodily tissues will die. And in fact, that is true. However, despite everybody's knowledge that breathing is essential to life, I don't think that most people realize just how important how we breathe is to our quality of life. And that includes our mental health, our physical health, and what we call performance. That is our ability to tap into skills, either physical or cognitive, in ways that we would not be able to otherwise if we are not breathing correctly. So, to so take a moment and bring your awareness to the abdomen. You'll notice that as you inhale, the abdomen gently expands. And as you exhale, the abdomen gently contracts. This movement in the abdomen is a result of engagement of the diaphragm muscle, a dome-shaped muscle underneath the lungs that actually moves down into that lower space of the torso as you inhale, and the organs displace, they make room for it. So that expansion is the organs gently making room for the diaphragm to move into that space. As you exhale, the diaphragm comes back to its original position, and the organs gently come back to their original position. So this rhythmic expansion and contraction in the abdomen is a good sign that we're starting to engage the diaphragm muscle as we breathe. And this is important for many reasons. On a physiological level, it's just more efficient to breathe diaphragmatically. But on a more subtle level, diaphragmatic breathing balances the autonomic nervous system. Guide, we're going to talk you through an alternate nostril breathing exercise. It's a great way to calm the nervous system and an effective stress reliever that everyone can practice at any point throughout the day. To start the exercise, come into a comfortable sitting position. Ensure that your spine is long and rest the backs of your hands on your knees, with your palms facing up towards the ceiling. Bring your right hand up, make sure your index and middle finger are touching, and then bend those fingers in towards the palm. Place your thumb against your right nostril and inhale through the left nostril. Then, move your hand to place your ring finger and little finger against the left nostril as you release the thumb and exhale out through the right nostril. Inhale through the right and then swap over and exhale out through the left. This is the alternate nostril breathing exercise. Inhale through the left, swap the finger over, release the thumb and exhale out through the right. Then inhale through the right, swap over, and exhale out through the left. Continue to repeat this exercise for about 10 to 20 breaths or until you can feel your body is relaxed. Keep the breathing steady and consistent. So, there you have a simple demonstration of an alternate nostril breathing exercise.